Hi and uh, welcome to the BMO YouTube channel. In this short video, we will demonstrate the process that a third-party email provider user would have to go through in order to open an encrypted message sent by an Office 365 user. Let's open the message. So this email has been sent from Outlook using the option Encrypt Only. And when the user receives it, he only knows which organization sent him the message, which sender within this organization has protected the message, and the button Read the message. Let's click this button. We are immediately redirected to the secure email portal of the organization that sent us the message. In this case, it's BMO. The URL, as we can see, is outlook.office365.com slash encryption slash authentication page. So in this page, we still need to authenticate ourselves before being able to read the message. We are not anymore under gmail.com. Let's begin by the second option, sign in with a one-time passcode. When I click this option, I am also redirected to the one-time password sign-in page right here. And it tells me that an email will be sent to my Gmail account with a one-time password that will allow me to sign in and see the message. So let's see if I have received this message. As we can see, we have a message from Microsoft Office, 265 message encryption, and we have indeed the one-time password. Let's hit continue. Now the mail is being opened and we are still under the secure email portal. We are with our BMO cybersec at gmail.com and we can see that the message is encrypted. Recipients can't remove encryption and we have also the content of the message. From within this page, the user should reply here or forward if needed to make sure that the message remains protected. Instead, the user that received the message should not reply under his mailbox from the third-party provider. He should always reply from the secure email portal. Because if he replies here, the answer will be sent, will not be encrypted. It will be just a classic message. So just make sure that your collaborator is answering to your messages that are encrypted from the secure email portal. So when we hit reply, we are still under the same container, which has the encryption, and then we can send the message in a secure way. Now we can close the secure email portal. We have replied to the message. Let's go back to the mailbox and see what happens to the thread. So the first message sent here that has been read and replied to, here is the reply sent by our Gmail user. And as we can see, he used the Office 365 message encryption to reply to us. And even within his mailbox, he cannot read the message without clicking again to read the message. And we are talking here about his answer. So let's click with the message to see if we can see our answer. Again, we are in front of the same page asking us to authenticate ourselves. The first time we did it with the sign in with one time password. This time we'll do it with signing with Google credentials to see the process. So let's click here. This process is a little bit more direct. It's in one step. There is no confirmation code sent. The outlook.office365.com will actually use the Gmail credentials that are signed in here to make sure that the user that received the message is authorized to read it now. So now we can see the answer that has been sent by our recipient and our original message just below. So to be able to see the full thread of encrypted messages, the user has always to come back here and to click to read the message. Then he can again see what he sends, continue the conversation and reply, etc. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions about how to read encrypted messages, you can read our blogs at bimopro.com or contact our support at service at bimopro.com.